collector's items from the 60s, starring Patrick McNee as the inimitable John Steed. <laughs> Well, it was originally about a doctor, played by Ian Henry, and he lost his, uh, his uh, fiancée and uh, some in a jewellery store or something. So he had to avenge uh, this awful thing, and I was some sort of strange, shadowy creature. I think a lot of it was influenced, not by the films, because they hadn't even started, the James Bond books. Now, look, this is vintage stuff, Deacon. Anything you could buy on the open market would be morning dew compared to this. Now, talk. I normally it'd be against every instinct in me to do this, even to a pig like you, but tonight I've seen how your goon here spends his evenings. Now, talk. The writers were very considerable writers anyway. Ian Henry treated them as hacks, which was a brilliant idea, because it stirred them up. It made them furious. So everybody came in with their creative juices, very highly developed, and he would sit down. I once saw him take a script and tear the whole lot out and start writing it from page one. We only had 10 days rehearsal. You're right, I rather got carried away. You nearly got carried away altogether, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Ian Henry was supreme. We were what's known as, I think now they call it, drinking buddies, which means that you have a bottle of scotch and you halve it. And uh, it was so pleasant because one saw the world through a whiskey haze and we used occasionally to sit down and see these episodes, they were kinescopes after, and we thought, I don't believe it. The music by Donny Dankworth is wonderful. That was supreme, it always was. But after, you know, we had a few Scottish, uh, Scottish um, Scotch whiskies each, we felt a lot better about the shows and thought they were rather good. <laughs> 